Hey, hi there. Andy Jones here in Venice. I'm at the Palazzo Van Arts, which is just stunning. 18 suites, that's it. That's all you get in this place. But my God, what the suites. Just off the planet. First, before we have a look at the suites, come and have a look at this. This is just beautiful. Everything in here is authentic. It's not being picked up down at Ikea and sprayed up to look old. This is real. Look at this piano. It must be 300 years old. It is beautiful. Beautiful mirrors. Size of the mirrors. Check out the ceilings. I mean, my God. So it's beautiful. But does it meet up with modern standards? Answer is, oh boy, of course it does. Follow me. We're going to have a look at some suites. Love this bit when you follow me through and I go backwards. <laughs> this is master suite number one. And master suite number one meets every expectation. If I was in Venice and I was here to experience the carnival, to, to ooze all the lovely history, and I'd want to stay in a room like this. Look at the ceiling again. I mean, who in their right mind would paint a ceiling like that? Someone did, and they were obviously an absolute artist. But technology, as we said, I've got the big TVs. I've got the lovely heating systems. I've got my Wi-Fi free, by the way. If you've got a suite here, you don't pay for Wi-Fi. Big bugbear of mine with hotels. But check it out. It is really lovely. I've got a lovely seating area here. Again, beautiful mirrors. Lovely big chandelier. Look at the chandelier up there. Oh, my God. I'm loving every minute. Come and look at the bathroom. This is where it gets really super sexy. Here we go. We're coming through. And we put the lights on. And it worked first time. I don't believe it. Well, one did. Um, no, nope, didn't work. Okay, yeah, come on, come on, come on. There we go, beautiful. So, we have our concealed toilet, which every man needs while he's away. And we have our lovely shower in here, we can stand in here. And we've got lovely big shower head. Ooh, oh shit, <laughs> it's got water on my head. Um, and this is obviously two sinks. And my soaker, this is my soaker, I love my soaker. So, come and have a look, because we've got another one to see. It's sort of same size, um, but it's quirky as well. And I've got a couple of quirky things to show you when we go in. Follow me. Here we go. We're going to go backwards through the door again. We're going to go backwards out here. Before I go anywhere else, check out the bookcase. Come on. Look, I know bookcases as they go, they're a bit old-fashioned and that, but if I had a bookcase in my house, that's a bookcase. That is real. It's stunning. It was solid. Follow me. <laughs> this is the next week. In here, again, oh my God, you're going to love this. More chandeliers, loads of light, lovely ceilings. And then we get to the best bit. This is my favourite bit of all. So, I've just come back. I've been out celebrating carnival. What do I want to do? I want to watch a movie. I want to watch some music. I want to put some tunes down. This is where I do it. Touch of a button. I'm in the bed. Enjoying myself. And here it comes, TV. But as you'll notice, again, they've kept it authentic. They didn't need to go out and buy a brand new, you know, plastic look-alike thing. This is real, someone spent time putting this together. And there you go, the TV's up and it's ready to work. Anyway, enough of that, we're not gonna be watching TV today, I'm gonna send that back down. Over there, lovely desk. You know what? Antiques Roadshow, here I come. It's stunning. Everything again, authentic. It's oozing Italian charm. It is giving me history, but at the same time, I'm comfy, I'm warm. And just outside that door is the Grand Canal. The Grand Canal in Venice is quite literally the main road that runs through the town because there's no cars here. So everything is done in a way that, that ambulances are on the water, um, fire engines, everything's on the water. But you'd think with that main road out there, It'd be really noisy, but listen. Did you hear the pin drop? It's beautiful. The windows and everything is, is designed to keep noise to a minimum. Everything is comfy, cozy. I've got to show you around the rest of the hotel. We're gonna to cut to that in two seconds. So, as I promised you, I'm gonna give you a little show around of what this hotel has to offer. And starting here in the restaurant, which is amazing, absolutely lovely full of authenticity once again. But the man behind the magic, the magician himself, Donata, who
who is a fantastic chef and he's cooked for it. I have to really remember his name there because it's a very Italian name. Follow me, follow me. Let's go find him in the kitchen. Doesn't speak much English. I'm going to pigeon my Italian a little bit and we'll find out where he is. And he's probably cooking away somewhere, we're getting ready for the lunch time. So, right in the thick of it, here we are. Lovely, beautiful little dishes. We tried these the other night actually. Oh, stunning, stunning. Donato. Buongiorno. So, Donato, you have uh, worked in the hotel for how many months? Uh, four months. Four months. Fantastic. And it's good? Yeah? You like it? <laughs> and before here, you worked where? In, uh, in uh, Milano. In Milan. So he worked in Milan. In a hotel or a restaurant? Restaurant. Ah, uh -huh, okay. But this is wonderful. And I just wanted to say thank you for your wonderful cooking and um, the, the big chef, uh, Enrico, ba Enrico Bartolini. Thank you. I know it. My son is not that good these days. <laughs> so Enrico Bartolini was the, uh, the chef who came up with the menu and Donato is replicating that for us all here. So Donato, grazie mille. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So you've seen a fantastic two-star Michelin restaurant. You've seen a five-star hotel with suites only. Now I'm going to quickly show you where you can sit during the summer, or even the winter if you've got the coat on. Look at it, real oranges growing. I mean, where do you find that? Follow me. So here, beautiful courtyard, very typical Venetian style. This has been here for a few hundred years as well, I can assure you. And behind me, I'm sure in the summer this will be all covered in lovely trees and everything at the moment, unfortunately, is, you know, it's just getting to that stage where it's going to come back into bloom. So, follow me through. I'm going to show you the reception area. So, you would walk through either from here if you've been taking your day out in Venice, wandering around, or you come in from the other end, which I'll show you in a second. the Grand Canal. Look at that. Not the best of days to do the filming. Yesterday was a little bit better. We had some blue sky. But here, right on the edge. And I really hope I don't fall in. The Grand Canal Venice. What more can I say? So, I've shown you just about everything that I can around here. And I'm hoping one day I'll be able to come back here and enjoy it all over again. I really thanks for watching. Look forward to the next one. Who knows where I'll be next week. This is Andy, the player, signing out, saying, thanks guys, what a great time. Palazzo Venar, number one.